be doing a video which is so highly requested and it's an updated what's on my iPhone 5 video. So not only will I be showing you guys what's on my iPhone, I'll also be showing you guys how I edit my Instagrams which is something that a lot of people have been asking me about recently and I thought I may as well show you. If you guys do enjoy watching this video, don't forget to give it a like and I'll see you guys at the end. Okay, so for my phone I use an iPhone 5 and I guess I should start off with the cover. This one I got from Sports Girl in Melbourne Airport and it was like $10 or something. It's already coming off a little bit which is a bit sad because I really like the design of it but yeah, that's the case. So when you go to unlock my phone you see that my background is Shannon and I from our recent trip in Melbourne and I just really like that photo which is why that's the background. And for my passcode I've actually had to change it to the letter combination because my little sister always guesses the number combination so I had to step it up a level and now I use letters. Alrighty, now we're in. So on my iPhone I only have two of the screens, one of which is pretty much all the basic apps that comes with it and then the one with the folders. So for the first screen I've got my messages obviously which I won't go into because they'll all pop up and that would be really weird if you guys were reading my messages. Let's not do that. And then I have the calendar which I never ever use because I find the app really confusing to use and I just don't use it. Okay then obviously I have photos which I've got a lot. I've got like 4,000 in there because I'm too lazy to get rid of them so I need to do that very soon. And then I have the FaceTime app but I don't actually use it on my phone. I use it more on my MacBook and my iMac. And then we have the videos folder but I don't use that either because majority of these apps I don't even use. That's why they're kind of on this screen and I usually just use this screen here. Then I have Apple Maps which I use a fair bit because I tend to get lost while driving. Got the weather which is something I use pretty much every day and it's 21 degrees today. Oh 22 degrees today so that's pretty cool. Reminders I don't ever use. Stocks I don't ever use. The clock I use every single day to wake up in the morning. Best thing ever. Newsstand I don't use. Notes I use pretty much all the time because whenever I come up with a new video idea it's generally when I'm walking around so I jot it down on my notepad so I remember to look back at that idea when I get back home and that's where all my video ideas come from so that's pretty cool. Passbook I don't use. iTunes store I don't really use. Game center don't ever use. iBooks never use. App store use it on occasion. Health don't ever use that. Like I mean come on. Settings obviously. Camera I use every single day of course. And then down the bottom here I've changed the apps around because these are the ones that I use a fair bit. Phone obviously because it's a phone that's what you do. Okay so then next I have Twitter which is what I use <laughs> seriously every single day. So I'm going to tweet um oh hey guys and you guys should go and favorite this tweet if you come from the video because that would be pretty cool. And then I have Facebook which obviously doesn't really need to be mentioned much more than that. And then I also have this music icon here which I used to use a lot more but now I use Spotify which I'll get to later on down the track but that's why that's there. So obviously my home screen is another picture from Melbourne and then the first folder I have here is called utilities. Here I've got my contacts, calculator, compass, voice memos, mail, pretty much all the stuff that you don't really need but you might need on occasion so it's there. And then I have the app for Westpac banking which is my bank which is the best thing ever when you're traveling to be able to use mobile banking. Trust me on this one. And then I have Shazam which I use on occasion when I hear a song that I really like and I don't know the name of it so I just Shazam it and it pops up. So next I have podcasts which I listen to Grace Helbig's Not Too Deep podcast on. That's literally the only reason I downloaded this, so there's that. So the next thing I have is the Virgin Australia in-flight entertainment app and it's literally the best thing ever. Because I travel with Virgin Australia a lot, it's pretty cool because you can connect this to their in-flight entertainment and watch movies and listen to music and stuff while you're on the plane and it's free, so that's pretty cool. So when I swipe over, you can see I've got the app for Uber, which is a cab service which you can order directly from your mobile phone and it's literally the greatest thing ever. I use Uber a lot when I'm traveling in Sydney and Melbourne and I highly recommend it so much so that there's a link in the description box down below where you can get $10 off your first ride if that's something you want to do and trust me you want to do it. So the next app is iMovie which is something I purchased when I tried to film vlogs on my phone and upload them directly but it didn't turn out so well and I haven't really used it since. And then I have Fruit Ninja because obviously Fruit Ninja is a fun time. So this app here is for all the girls out there who want to track their period. Trust me it's the best thing because you know when it's coming and you don't get surprised and it's just a really good time. I highly recommend getting this app because you know exactly when to get ready for it. Then I have this tips app which is something that iOS 8 downloaded and I never use it and it's just kind of annoying when it pops up, but it's there. Flappy Bird, of course. Then I have the Virgin Mobile Account app, which is really good to keep track of my data usage and all that other stuff with my phone. I've got my mobile account and my frequent flyers hooked together, which means that whenever I spend money on my phone bill, I actually get frequent flyer points in return, which is something pretty cool, and it definitely helps out when I'm traveling around. Then I have this app here called Sleep Talk, and it is honestly the funniest thing ever, because you can record yourself when you go to sleep, and it'll like pick up when you talk, and we'll record it, and you can play it back in the morning, and you you say some pretty weird stuff in your sleep. So then I have the app for Just Dance Now, which is where you can use your phone as a like dancing device thing, like you know, a Wii Remote controller thing, and you can play it on your web browser and it's free. And then moving on to the next folder, I have all my social media. Safari there, even though it's not really social media, but that's just where I wanted to keep it. Instagram, of course, because Instagram is the best. And if you're not following me on Instagram, you should probably do that. And then I have Snapchat, which you guys should go follow me on if you want to. It's Natalia's iPhone, as said there, and I Snapchat. 
throughout my day and I say things and do things and that was me literally 15 minutes before I started filming so you should definitely follow. So the next app I have is Follow which is like a fangirl app kind of thing for like Justin Bieber, Ariana Grande. You can keep up with what they're doing and yeah I guess. But then I have Vine which you guys can follow me on if you want. It's just Tay on Natalia. I sometimes post Vines and do things and things are fun so go and do it. Then I have Spotify which is the best thing ever honestly. I'm so glad that it was introduced to me because it's honestly the best. It's pretty cool because you can stream music for free and make your own playlists and I just think it's really cool and I use it a lot more than iTunes. I don't honestly remember the last time I downloaded anything off iTunes because why buy the song when you can stream it for free? Like guys, come on. And then down the bottom I have Tumblr, YouTube and an app called Huntgram. It's basically an app where you can discover other Instagram users whose feeds you might like, if they're similar to yours, that kind of thing. And then swiping across I have Skype, I have Facebook Messenger, I have Shots of Me which is like a selfie social media that's literally all it is. Then I have Let which is another social media which I started using and then kind of stopped using so there's that. And then I have an app called Find Unfollow where you can find out who unfollows you and all that kind of stuff because of course that's something you want to know. And then I just downloaded this app called Story which I have I haven't really had a chance to try out yet, but it looks really cool and it's pretty much... Can you stop that? I downloaded this app called... Oh my god. <laughs> Are you freaking kidding me? Like actually kidding me? Oh my god, Shannon. It looks pretty cool. It seems like a more professional version of the Snapchat story feature, so yeah. And then moving on to my final folder, which is called photography, and it's literally all the apps and stuff that I use to edit my Instagram photos. First off, I have Instapic size, which I don't even remember what it does. I'm pretty sure you can just put like a border on it or something. I don't really remember what half these apps do. Afterlight is the app that I use for all of my Instagram photos, and I just love it a lot. So basically what I do is load a photo. Alright, so we're going to pick this one for example, which is one that I've already posted before, so I know how I edited it, so I guess I'll show you how I did that. So basically I go use, wow great, and then all I do is pretty much turn up the brightness a little bit on all of them just because I like the brighter effect on everything. And then in the filters I go to guest and I pick the filter rust and I just turn that down to around 60% mark, maybe lower, maybe higher, depending on what the photo looks better as. This one's probably only going to be about a 50. Something like that, 46 seems fine. That's pretty much all I do, press done, save it to my camera roll as the maximum size. And then usually I just adjust it to make sure everything's sitting in there straight. So with the lines, you can obviously line it up, no pun intended. And you just frame it how you want, press next, do whatever, make your caption and I post. That's pretty much all there is to it. And a lot of people have asked me how I do edit my Instagram, so now you know. Then I have square ready for video, which is pretty much where you can put a border on a video and that's pretty self-explanatory. And then I have bordergram, which is where you can put obviously borders on your Instagrams but they're like patterned like that. Insta border is pretty much exactly the same and then pick joiner is where you can like join up all your photos. Whitergram is like bordergram but just white. Pick stitch is pretty much like pick jointer so pretty much exactly the same. Avery is pretty much a basic photo editing app where you can just like crop and you can blemish fix and all that kind of stuff. And then going across we've got Maldive. I don't even remember what this app is. I'm gonna have a real quick look because I literally have no idea. Oh it's another photo collage app. Very cool. Adjust focus is pretty self-explanatory. You basically Basically, you can make the background blurry and make yourself in focus. Then Studio is an app where you can put quotes and other things on top of your photos. And then last but not least, I have VSCO Cam, which is pretty much just an app for filters, and that's pretty great. Then the last thing I have on my phone is this countdown app, which is counting down to meeting Miranda, Demi's concert, VidCon, and Taylor's concert, and it gets me pretty excited for all the things that are coming up ahead, and yeah. So that's what's on my iPhone 5. I really hope you guys enjoyed watching this video, and if you did, be sure to give it a like. Also, comment down below if we have any apps in common with each other because I'm kind of interested to know. I read all your comments and will probably reply back to you, so if that's something you want, then you should comment. So that's it for today. I'm going to go, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys.